Hi, welcome back to another video on plant tissues. Till now, we saw how simple permanent tissues are important in a plant's life. Now let's move ahead and explore something complicated in a plant's life. Yes, I'm talking about the complex permanent tissues. So tell me, out of all the functions that a plant performs, which one do you think requires maximum hard work or complex coordination of various plant parts? Yes, it's the transportation of food, water and minerals. Remember, humans have a circulatory system which circulates blood through arteries and veins and transports various materials like food, water, etc. to different body parts? Yes. Now look at these tall redwood trees. In fact, look at all these trees. How do they manage to move things within their body without a proper circulatory system like ours? Plants don't have veins, arteries or even blood to begin with. I also wonder how do they grow so tall? Well, the secret to their success on land lies in their conductive tissues or vascular tissues that hold the ability to transport various materials from one part of the plant to another. This might seem like a simple task, but imagine a stationary life moving gallons of water from its lowest parts all the way up to its highest parts. Sounds quite challenging, but we have nothing to worry about as the conductive tissues are rightly made to take up this challenge. The conductive tissues or vascular tissues are made of more than one type of cells or in other words, they are formed of the complex permanent tissues. So this is where the complex permanent tissues like the xylem and phloem find use in a plant's life. Let's find out all about the sturdy build of these tissues today. Complex permanent tissues are made of different types of living and dead cells which work together as a unit and carry out the common function of conducting various materials within a plant's body. The complex permanent tissues are of two types, xylem and phloem. They together constitute the vascular bundles. Plants that have vascular bundles are known as vascular plants. Let's begin our journey with xylem. The word xylem comes from the Greek word xylon meaning wood. Xylem cells are thick-walled, elongated and often dead. Yes, these are the dead tissues that are mainly concerned with conducting water and minerals from the soil through the roots and then sending them from the roots right to the apex of a plant. Thus, this tissue is also known as water conducting tissue. The xylem, since it is a complex tissue, is made of four different types of cells. These are xylem tracheids, xylem vessels, xylem fibers and xylem parenchyma. So let's move further and find out what each of these cells do. Xylem tracheids appear like empty tubes. These are dead elongated cells with tapering ends and enclose a large empty cavity. The cells also have thickened cell walls and are heavily lignified. Now like tracheids, the xylem vessels are also dead tubular in structure and have thickened lignified cell walls. But these cells are not tapering at the ends. Now both tracheids and vessels owing to their tubular structure act like pipelines for plants conducting water and minerals for them. Next in order are the xylem fibers. These cells are long, narrow and tapering at both ends. The xylem fibers are made of sclerenchymatous dead cells with lignified cell walls. Hence these cells provide mechanical support to a plant's body. Now the only living cells in the xylem are the xylem parenchyma. Made of thin cellulose walls, the xylem parenchyma, also known as wood parenchyma, stores food and helps in the conduction of water. So, the xylem is composed of the living parenchyma and dead tube-like or hollow pipe-like structures. They run all the way from the roots to the leaves. Thus, they help roots take in water and minerals from the soil and then move these various materials all the way up to the leaves. That's about the complex permanent tissue, xylem. Now let's talk about phloem. Xylem and phloem are closely associated and are usually found right next to each other. Phloem is the living conducting tissue. Well, except one part. I'll tell you about it shortly. Now like xylem, phloem extends all along the length of a plant's body. That is, it is present in the roots, stems, leaves, branches, etc. Like xylem, phloem also consists of conducting tubes 
which it uses to transport food products from the green parts to the other parts. So the xylem gets the raw materials, gives it to the green parts. The green parts, which are obviously the leaves, prepare the food and send it to various plant parts via the food delivery system, the phloem. The phloem, being a complex permanent tissue, is also made of different types of cells. These are sieve cells, sieve tubes, companion cells, phloem fibers and phloem parenchyma. So let's move ahead and find out what each of these cell types is. Sieve cells make up the sieve tubes and sieve tubes, as the name suggests, are tubular in structure and with perforated walls. They form the main conducting part of phloem and help in the conduction of food materials to different plant organs. Transporting food to all the parts of a plant. Hmm, sounds like a big job. Can the sieve tubes do it all by themselves? Turns out no. So the sieve tubes have associate partners that help in the conduction of food. These are the companion cells. These cells are elongated, thin-walled living parenchyma that accompany the sieve tubes in conducting food to different plant parts. Like xylem, the phloem also consists of phloem parenchyma. So I'm guessing you will know what its function is. Yes, the phloem parenchyma also stores food and is made of thin-walled living parenchyma cells. Now remember I said that the phloem is the living conducting tissue except for one part. This is the phloem fiber. The phloem fibers are made of dead lignified sclerenchymatous cells. So they provide mechanical support to the phloem tissue. The phloem is also referred to as bast. Hence the phloem fibers are also referred to as bast fibers. So the phloem is a living conducting tissue besides the phloem fibers and its cells together make the food delivery system within plants. The complex nature of xylem and phloem tissues not only help plants move various materials within their gigantic bodies, but also provide mechanical support to each other. Imagine these structures standing tall without any support. Wouldn't be possible, right? This is why these conducting tissues are made of more than one type of cells so that they can carry out the most important job of conducting materials with ease. Vascular tissue is a distinctive feature of the complex plants, one that has made their survival in the terrestrial environments possible. With this, we have come to the end of this video and successfully completed plant tissues. From the next video onwards, we will embark on another journey which will include finding out the tissues that constitute animals. Now, it's summary time. Complex permanent tissues are made of more than one type of cells. Complex permanent tissues are of two types, xylem and phloem. Complex permanent tissues are composed of different types of living and dead cells. These cells work together as a unit to carry out the common function of conducting various materials within a plant's body. Xylem and phloem are the two types of complex permanent tissues and together they constitute vascular bundles. Plants that have vascular bundles are known as vascular plants. Xylem is composed of four types of cells. Xylem tracheids, xylem vessels, xylem fibers and xylem parenchyma. Xylem parenchyma are the only living cells in the xylem. Xylem tracheids and xylem vessels help in the conduction of water and minerals vertically. Xylem fibers provide mechanical strength to the plant's body. Xylem parenchyma stores food and helps in the conduction of water. Phloem is made of five different types of cells. These are sieve cells, sieve tubes, companion cells, phloem parenchyma and phloem fibers. Phloem fibers are the only dead cells in the phloem. Sieve cells make up the sieve tubes and the sieve tubes help in the conduction of prepared food to different plant parts. The companion cells accompany the sieve tubes in conducting food to different plant parts. The phloem parenchyma stores food and the phloem fibers provide mechanical strength to the plant body. The xylem tissue is responsible for conducting water and minerals from the soil through the roots and then sending these raw materials from the roots to the leaves of the plant for them to prepare the food. The phloem tissue is responsible for conducting the prepared food from the leaves to different plant organs.